we went to this public execution and they brought this guy into the stadium and he was accused of murdering a relative. They brought him and just shot him in the head. That had become the only entertainment in the city. There was nothing else. The country had completely shut down so people didn't have access to media. People couldn't believe that the Taliban would be finally defeated. That's when people finally believe something good is about to happen. The way we thought we could re-engage with the country was to actually do something um, business-wise. And we established Afghanistan's first independent media outlet. You know, you go into villages that haven't seen the wheel yet, and, and suddenly there, you know, you'll see a television hooked up to a car battery, and 50 people are watching Tolo. It was really a period where most Afghans thought, this is the time, this is our chance, we've finally got our opportunity, and we can make a change. It's a fool's game to try to predict the future, particularly in a place as chaotic and crazy as Afghanistan. I think there's a lot of storm clouds ahead.